Hello, here we will discuss about types of class interval. So we need to understand what are the types of class interval. So once we have ungrouped data and we are going to analyze, we are going to convert that data in group. So there are different types of the classes, different ways of to create the group. So we need to understand here how to create the class and what are the types of the class intervals. So there are different types of the class intervals. So three methods of classifying the data according to class intervals, which is namely exclusive class intervals and second inclusive class interval and third one is the open ended in the classes that means once we have ungrouped data and we are going to convert it in a group so that groups we can convert in three way exclusive class inclusive class and open ended so here we will try to understand what is the exclusive method what is the inclusive method and what is the open ended classes so now we need to understand exclusive methods. So exclusive method means the upper limits of each class are excluded from the respective classes. Such classes in which the upper limits are excluded from the respective classes and are included in the immediate next classes. This is important point we need to understand are known as exclusive classes and the classification is termed as exclusive type classification. Now we'll understand with help of the example. So here we can see just a moment. Yes, so we can see when the class intervals are so fixed that the upper limit of one class, upper limit, this is the first class, this is the upper limit of one class is the lower limit of the next class. So once we are going to grouping the data, so if we are getting this value, so this value will not include here. 5000 value will include in this next class that is the meaning of the lower limit of the next class it is known as the exclusive method of the classification so like some of the there are 400 family members and and this is the expenditures of the family average expenditure of the family members given so we can understand this table 0 to 5000 rupees per month expenditure 60 families are expenditures belong between 0 to 5000 and 5000 to 10000 95 families 10000 15 122 family 83 families expenditure is 15 to 20000 and 20 to 25000 is a 40s family so this is the meaning of the exclusive class interval now next is the inclusive methods. So in this method, the overlapping of the class intervals is avoided. Both the lower and upper limits are included in the class interval. So this type of classification may be used for a group frequency distribution for discrete variable like members in a family, number of workers in a factory etc where the variable may take only integral values it cannot be used with fractional value like age height weight it is now for examples we can say for inclusive method this is the class interval is given and this is the frequency is given so five to nine so if we have a ungrouped data and we are going to group in a class, so five to nine, all values will come under this 
class interval. So there are seven frequency and 10 to 14. So starting from 10 and ending from 14, every all the values will belong this interval, which is 12 frequency, 15 to 19, 15, and 30 to 34, 10, and 35, 39, 5, 17, like this. So this is the example of the inclusive class interval or inclusive method. Now next is the open-end classes. A class limit is missing. If class limit is missing, either at the lower end of the first class interval or at the upper end of the last class interval. So this is the first class interval and this is the last class interval. Are both are not specified here, not exact values. So here we are writing below 2000. So seven workers are getting salary below 2000. Here three workers getting the salary uh, 8000 and above. So this is if lower limit first class we are writing this and last class interval we are writing this so this comes under the open ended classes we need to understand so these are the three basics uh, class intervals exclusive inclusive and open ended one open ended classes now one important points we need to understand what are the nature of the class class means group means like as discussed different groups so what should be the natures we need to understand we need to remember it so first point class limits we need to understand what is the class limits so class limits should be chosen in such a way that the mid value of the class interval and actual average of the observation in that class interval are as near to each other as possible. If this is not the case, then the classifications given a distorted picture of the characteristics of the data. If possible, class limits should be located at the points which are multiple of 0, 2, 5, 10, like that. So that the midpoint of the classes are the common figures 0, 2, 5, 10. So and figures capable of easy and simple analysis. This is basic points about class limits. Then we need to understand the class intervals. What are the class intervals? 5, 10, 15, 20, and bits are size of the class interval, what should be, and we need to understand what is the range, means the lower lim upper limit of the class minus lower limit of the class, we need to understand. Then what should be the mid value, mid points, and frequency for each classes, and number of class intervals, and size of the class intervals. So these points we need to understand when we are preparing the class, class interval. So this is the points. Now one important points, this number of the class interval and size of the class interval, how we'll get the, how, what should be the, how many classes we need to create and what should be the exact size of the class interval that things we had discussed in separate video, we can see and we can watch and we can understand. Thank you.